Hey there, everybody. I wanted to just make a quick video today and check in. Um, I am 59 days uh, until my phalloplasty surgery. So just a little less than two months. I uh, Last week I got my insurance approval or pre-approval. So that was a pretty big deal. Um, I was like completely set for them to deny it and have to appeal the decision. And so when we got the letter that just said, uh, your, you know, surgery at the hospital from February 8th to whenever has been approved, uh, I think I was literally in shock. My wife called me and told me, and she's like, are you going to say anything? <laughs> but I, uh, I was in shock. I think I was, but it has set in now, and it's just such a huge weight off my shoulders to have the insurance approval. So that was kind of the last big question mark, you know? Um, although I will say the COVID-19 situation is an ongoing question mark. Um, so far, there have not been any surgeries rescheduled. Um, and honestly, it's just so out of my control that I am just letting it go and hoping for the best. Um, what I can control is my health. And so after Christmas and New Year's, I will, you know, pretty much be isolating, um, quarantining, whatever, however you want to put it, from anyone other than my wife and son. So uh, he might actually not be going to school at that point, which would be nice. But anyhow, I'm going to be as careful as possible and do everything I can not to get COVID before my surgery. <laughs> so... That's what I can do. Um, I am feeling good. I have a second consultation with Dr. Santucci on January 6th, just to ask him some follow-up questions. Um, and I don't know, I'm just trying to get my mind prepared, I think. Um, getting together like some good uh, guided imagery meditation, which I haven't ever really done before. Uh, but I really do, um, believe in, you know, visual, visuals, mm, visualization, um, which is basically imagination focused. Uh, but in the past, whenever I've done like athletic things, I've always used that. And I think it's helpful for me. So I'm going to work on that, try to visualize, you know, re mostly recovery. Uh, I feel like my attention has shifted to being post-op. Um, now that I am confident that the surgery is going to happen, you know, that day of surgery is in the doctor's hands. And then after that, you know, me and my body need to do heal ourselves well we're not two things but we need I need to focus on healing and so I don't know I feel like that's kind of where my mind and focus is now um uh I don't think I have any other updates other than I'm still doing the electrolysis um I took a break for a few weeks because my whole arm got finished and then so I needed to give it time to grow back the different hair cycles, whatever. I'm pretty discouraged at the amount of hair growing. Um, and I just have to trust the process, I guess, um, that hair grows in different cycles. I mean, it looks like it's like growing back, but I, uh, I'm assured that it's not growing back. It's just new hairs. <laughs> so I go back next week to start that again. I'm pretty over the electrolysis. It's not fun. And, um, I don't know. I'm just sick of doing it, but I'll get in as many sessions, like sessions as I can before surgery. So 
that's that. I think that's it, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, other than that, I'll check back in when I get a little closer. Take care, everybody.